This very timely and advantageous work is truly a godly help to Christ's church, a present help in a time of plague. It's called godly directions in a time of plague. It's filled with, as you might be aware, godly directions from various authors, though, who took time to thoughtfully set down specific biblical directions, pleading with the people of God to forsake sin and follow Christ's prescription for holiness and righteousness in contrast to the plague that had come. These authors are all of one mind, though they lived at different times over the span of almost 200 years. This is because all godly directions taken from careful scriptural study will always end up in the same place. It's true, each writer deals with various texts from various angles, but still their conclusions are all the same and they offer the church godly directions that will deliver the church from under the heavy hand of God's judgments. There are four discourses, one by John Hooper on Mark 115, a sermon by Lancelot Andrews on Psalm 106, 29 to 30, one by John Owen on 2 Timothy 3, 1, and one by Thomas Manton on Psalm 119, 67. There's an extended prayer given by William Crashaw, which is amazing and experimentally helpful, coupled by an exhortation given by him about the plague, as well as an extended exhortation by Henry Burton on self-denial and humiliation on Luke 9.23. Finally, Thomas Drax sets down a series of simple questions and answers to the difficulty of a plague and how the godly should conduct themselves when a plague comes. This work is available right now at Puritan Publications. Go to www.puritanpublications.com for more information on this title in both ebook and in print. In all of these exhortations, the church around the world would do well to heed their godly directions at this time, that God would hear the church from heaven and forgive their sin and remember His covenant for their good. May the Lord bless you as you read and study diligently along with these godly men on the seriousness of the plague.